Hi. Welcome to my channel. Now, observe the sun. Starting off with the seeds filters, from the ninth showing the M-class flare, erupting from the sun. Shown on this flare classification chart, from the last three days, are two C-class flares. Also, we see the M2 class flare, that occurred on the 9th. Using this LASCOC2 filter, the M class flare, is observed erupting from the sun. Now seen through the ink filter. Here is a wider field of view of the M-class flare, seen through the LASCOC2 and C3 filters. Using this CME model, the M-class flare is mapped, as we see Mercury and the BEPI, satellite get a dose of solar wind and radiation from this flare. On this geospace magnetosphere model, the pressure from the solar wind can be gauged, as we observe the red areas around the Earth, which shows a higher intensity of pressure today. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of geoelectric field maps based on different specifications of the Earth conductivity. The geoelectric field is a measure of the induction hazard to artificial conductors, such as electrical power lines, that results from geomagnetic activity, and can be used to estimate the amount of current induced by integrating along the conducting pathway. This geospace ground magnetic perturbation maps display the gridded magnetic delta, thus the auroral forecasted activity. On this HMI intensity gram map, three sunspot regions are observed on the Earth-facing side of the Sun. Region 2894, is Earth-facing at this time. On this SDO-17U filter, the area where the M-class flare, erupted in just here. This is the position of the planets today. And as always, sit back. Relax. And let me keep my eye, on the sun for you.